Hello. I'm honored to be here and to read for you and share this stage. Uh, if you don't know, the Center for Visionary Disobedience was formerly known as the Center for Visionary... Uh, what was it? Uh, visionary Poetics. It's, it's crucial to the poem. Uh, <laughs> so, thank you. Dear Center for Visionary Poetics, When we found the sea cucumber quivering in the tidal pool like placenta, I thought of you. When I didn't know what a sea cucumber was, or what would happen when one poked a sea cucumber with the hollow end of a feather, I thought of you. Later, on a pier punctuated by a yellow building and the architecture of a pelican, we watched a school of rays sail under the boards, under us, flying in formation they were as magnificent as our feet were sandy and free of snow and the polar vortex. A sunburnt someone shrieked stingrays, and a salty someone said cow nose. Did you know a group of devil rays is called a fever, a word that reminds me of you? Of course, you have named many things, from the soul of the mushroom to the empty space that rests in your chest after everything changes. We search for manatees in the discharge channel by the power plant. We laughed at the rain and the Baroque smoke stacks hiding in their veil of steam. We spotted one gorgeous sea cow sticking her black snout out of the black water, or that's what we told ourselves after driving so far to see so little which reminded me of the time I drove you home very carefully, as if the trunk ferried key lime pies. After all the lights in the world had been extinguished, I surveyed the tree-splendid night and came away impressed with the darkness. On a sandbar not far from Cortez, we discovered an inkfish squirts pink when rested from its niche, and then a pair of dolphins torpedoed our wake. They were ideas rushing to the surface. I thought of you and your wild rain washing away winter's grime, thawing our lakes, releasing what was once trapped and frozen inside of us. Thank you.